love so well. Shoe shine boy. Trying to make a baby girl go somewhere. Shoe shine boy. Where you gonna be ten years from now? Shoe shine boy. Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Um, this story kind of surprised me, being that, well, let me just uh, get into it. Um, Snoop's daughter, Corey Broadus, 24, she suffered a severe stroke. And she revealed she broke down in tears when doctors confirmed a medical emergency. Wow. Snoop's daughter, Cordy Broadus, Corey Broadus, um, has revealed she suffered a stroke. Corey revealed on social media that she had endured a se- severe stroke on Thursday morning. I had a severe stroke. And I started breaking down crying when they told me. Wow. Very young. Corey, who is the daughter of Snoop and his wife Shantae Broadus, also suffers from lupus. She was diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder when she was just six. Lupus is one of the chronic autoimmune conditions where the body makes antibodies against itself and starts to attack it. Mm. Lupus, systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE, has a range of severity. Some sufferers will only have mild problems. Others have life-threatening organs damages due to the heart and the kidneys. Speaking with people about her lupus battle in September, she said she had been better than I've ever been, taking after taking more natural approach to her well-being. I've been good, better than I've been ever been, she told People magazine. I stopped taking all my medication like five months ago, she said. I'm just doing everything natural, all types of herbs, sea moss, teas. I started working out, drinking lots of water. So now I think my body's like, okay, this is the new program, and she's getting used to it. You know, Corey said that she was compelled to make the change after years of following the same routine following her lupus diagnosis. Corey explained that how her medication routine will cause her to feel like she was going insane. So, yeah, that's about that medication, man, I tell you. She's like, I'm only 24. What did I do in my past to deserve this? Honey, this is not a punishment. You ain't do nothing. You, 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 ain't, you ain't responsible for this. This is some inheritance that you're not um, responsible for, can't be blamed for, because you had no way of producing yourself. Okay? So, oh, that's that's a horrible thing to feel like. What did I do? Oh, very, very sad. My body is not achy. She said... But I've had medication since I was six years old and depending on these drugs all my life. So I wanted better for myself, she explained. I wanted to change because I just became, it just became a lot. I'm only 24 years old, taking up to 10 to 12 pills every single day. So I kind of just went cold turkey. That might have been a big mistake. Oh, no, I'm not a doctor, so let me shut up. She also had been working out um, and had been beneficial to her health 
I mean, I wish she, I don't know if she eased off of them, if she uh, took, you know, instead of taking uh, 10 or 11, you took 5 or 6. Corey added that she was aware that she could make even more changes that would help her health-wise. It's continuously a learning process because there's so much more I could be doing. Oh, that's so sad. <sighs> you know, there's another one and she gets candid about her mental health. I can do a whole 360 change and just get healthy all around. I think I will be so good, she added. I tell people all the time, it's a day-by-day -day process. That it is, baby girl. Things are going to take time. Nothing is going to happen overnight. In 2021, Corey opened, about, opened up about her private mental health struggles and revealed she recently had attempted suicide. The last few weeks, my mental health has not been great. At one point, I tried to end my life, but you and my family really gave me purpose to live, and it helped me realize that life is much more than materialistic things, and you got to keep pushing through the bullshit. That's right, baby, Corey. In, ninth, I mean, in 2022, Corey became engaged to her boyfriend, Wayne Deuce. The easiest yes ever at Wayne Deuce. I love you so much and can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. And that's something she posted to her Instagram the moment that he proposed. Can't wait to share my last name with you, my beautiful fiance, Wayne wrote. Wow. Well, Shante, I mean, uh, Corey, I hope. Wow. Wow, that is so sad, y'all. This young freaking stroke. Say some girl. Corey's going through a lot. I want y'all to hear what she has to say. I think it starts from my childhood, right? And that's when she tried to uh, commit suicide. Um, Corey, I hope, I hope, I hope that um, you don't, you don't suffer too many setbacks because of uh, this new chapter in your life and what you've been through and what you're going through. I send you healing, healing love. I send your family love and patience. And I I just send you blessings. 
And nobody wants to hear a 24-year-old having a stroke. I mean, that is sad. Ah, let's just send up a beacons of prayer and beacons of life for Corey. Uh, Corey just always seemed to always be fighting against something. And, um, you know, stroke is nothing to play with. So with that being said, I want y'all to pray for this girl, 24 years old, and she just revealed that she suffered a stroke. Uh, and I, and I, these young people are having strokes. A friend of mine's niece had a stroke at 28. Um, and, I, I, you know, it's like, wow, very young. Anyway, if you like what you hear, Please make a comment. Oh, boy. And, you know, what y'all think about Corey and, and the challenges that she have ahead. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. Get well, girl. Get well.